Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. New studies have shown that sea salt around the world has been contaminated by plastic pollution in the form of tiny bits of microplastic. Researchers believe the majority of the contamination comes from microfibers and single-use plastics such as water bottles, which make up the majority of plastic waste. Sherry Mason, a professor at the State University of New York at Fredonia, led the study that looked at 12 different kinds of salt bought from U.S. grocery stores around the world and found that Americans could be ingesting up to 660 particles of plastic annually. So far, plastics have been found in salts from China, Spain, the UK, and France. Said Mason, we have to focus on the flow of plastic and the pervasiveness of plastics in our society and find other materials to be using instead. Wild tigers will be reintroduced in Kazakhstan 70 years after they became extinct in the country. Since the beginning of the 1900s, the historical range of wild tigers has been decreasing by more than 90%, including in Central Asia. Their population was decimated in Kazakhstan in the 1940s due to poaching and habitat loss. Now, an initiative by the World Wildlife Fund will create a nature reserve and the restoration of a forest in the Ili Bakhash region in preparation for the reintroduction of tigers, which will likely take many years. If successful, Kazakhstan will be the first country in the world to bring wild tigers back to an entire region where they have been extinct. The current population of wild tigers is about 3,900. Much of the controversy surrounding genetically modified crops is the scientifically unsupported fear that they are unsafe to eat. About 20 years ago, the U.S. and Canada began embracing GMO technology in agriculture with the promise that by making crops more immune to pests and disease, they would grow more and feed the world's growing population while reducing pesticide use at the same time. Europe, on the other hand, rejected using GMOs. Despite this and the expected trend, research by the New York Times in 2016 shows that the United States and Canada have gained no discernible advantage in food per acre when measured against Western Europe. Meanwhile, herbicide use has increased in the U.S. while it has decreased in France. The result of this discrepancy should have been the opposite, which raises doubts about the promised bounty of GMOs. While unprecedented and record-breaking hurricanes devastate the southern United States, massive wildfires are burning in the West, sending thick blankets of smoke across the nation. Around 172 wildfires are burning, 78 of which are greater than 100 forested acres. So far this year, more than 8 million acres have burned, almost twice the 10-year average of 5.5 million acres, in states such as Washington, Oregon, and California. Montana has been one of the hardest hit, with almost 1 million acres burned since the beginning of the summer, making it among the state's top five most devastating fire seasons. NASA satellite images show smoke blowing from the Pacific Northwest to the Great Lakes. According to a recent study published in the journal Ecological Modeling, planting trees in urban areas saves megacities more than $500 million a year in, quote, public health costs, energy expenses, and environmental protection. Scientists at the State University of New York determined the annual value of trees by looking at the ecosystem services they provide in 10 megacities including Beijing, Los Angeles, Mexico City, and Mumbai. Trees cover about 21% of the cities and save $35 per resident per year in pollutant reduction, storm runoff, CO2 sequestration, and building heating and cooling costs. According to co-author Sergio Ogiati of the University of Parthenope, Placing these results on the larger scale of socioeconomic systems makes evident to what extent nature supports our individual and community well-being by providing ecosystem services for free. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. See you next week.